October 15, 2021, the UK government warned the Uganda government that terrorists were planning to carry out terror strikes in the country. As part of its global fight against terrorism, the UK government called on all its nationals living in Uganda to be extremely vigilant about their security, especially in crowded and public places. Open quotes, attacks could be indiscriminate. Open quotes, attacks could be indiscriminate, including in places visited by foreigners. UK counter terrorism policing has information and advice on staying safe abroad and what to do in the event of a terrorist attack. Close quotes. The statement reads in part. However, on October 18, 2021, Uganda police downplayed the travel alerts issued by UK and France, saying that the East African community remains confident about its security forces' ability to thwart any security threats. Open quotes. Our joint terrorism teams have subjected the respective alerts to a process of validation for specifics to help determine whether the threats are imminent or not. The specifics are still not readily available. Close quotes, says the police spokesperson Fred Enanga. Enanga further confirmed on October 18, 2021, that there are sleeper cells already in the country and that the efforts were underway to dismantle them, but maintained the need of not elevating the terror levels. But I want to assure Ugandans that our counter-terrorism teams have, uh, since 2010, thwarted several plots, both foreign and domestic. Since uh, the double attack of 2010, you remember. And in this very respect, we continue to review our security posture across the country and uh, we continue to maintain it as normal. Although the UK did not mention which terrorist group is behind the threat, Uganda security agencies were quick at figuring out the Allied Democratic Forces rebel, a Ugandan rebel outfit in the Congo, behind the new wave of the terror attacks in Kampala. With these latest terror bombings of Kampala, what remains unclear is whether Uganda police still holds on to its earlier positions of not elevating the terror levels. On the other side of business, the UK terror alert could negatively affect Uganda's tourism sector, which has already been battered by the COVID-19 induced lockdown and other restrictions since 2020. At least 35,000 tourists from the UK visit Uganda every year. Uganda's annual tourist arrivals had been increasing to more than 1.5 million before the coronavirus pandemic. On July 11, 2010, Al-Shabaab terrorists set off two bombs at Kyadondo Rugby Club and the Ethiopian village restaurant in Kampala. On July 11, 2010, Al-Shabaab terrorists set off two bombs at Kyatondo Rugby Club and the Ethiopian village restaurant in Kawalagala, a Kampala suburb, killing at least 70 people and injuring dozens. The ground shook. The assumption was an electricity transformer had blown. Since then, security agencies have been issuing terror alerts, warnings, nearly twice every year.